Hi everybody! In this video I'm going to show how to apply Marini to a bead. And hopefully you saw my simple Marini making video and I am going to be applying those Marini in this video. So for just a quick example, I have a base bead of lapis blue and I am going to add the star Marini to this bead. And I'm going to add two different Marini one encased and one not encased. So the first little star marini there, I'm going to apply it to this lapis blue bead. So I'm going to heat the bead a little bit, then heat the marini way back in the flame, reheat the bead, and then push the marini on. And so it's sticking out a little bit, but that's okay. And I just want to gently heat the marini. I have it a little further back in the flame, just heating it a little bit, tapping it down, heating a little, tapping it down. And in this way, the blue outside edges of the marini are going to like shrink in a little bit and make your star shape or whatever shape it is a little bit smaller. And if this was a flower marini, it can actually shrink in all the petals to the very center to make it kind of look like a star shape. So it all depends on what kind of marini you're adding. But the basic design shrinks if you don't add some clear on the top of your marini. So it all depends on the look you want. So I'm going to try to show a close up here, uh, but it's kind of hard to see. It's really blurry and really zoomed in. So it's kind of hard to see the little tiny star, but it's a pretty small star. And there it is right there. Kind of difficult to see. It's, it's still glowing. But the second marini I'm going to place, this one's going to be an encased marini. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to heat the bead a little bit where I want to put it. Heat the marini just a little bit in the back so it doesn't shock. Reheat the bead and then apply the marini. Same way. And so I'm going to tap down a little bit just to get it solid in, in the bead there. And then I'm going to add a little bit of clear to the top, to the very top of the marini. Try not to get it on the glass around it. Just a little dollop to the top. And my glass rod cracked there, as you see. So I'm just pushing down that clear a little, but it wasn't enough. So I'm going to add a little bit more clear. And when you do this, it'll actually spread out the design a little bit. So it'll sink down into your marini and make it spread out. So then I'll have a bigger star. So it all depends on the effect you want. If you want just a tiny star or if you want something a little spread out and a, a little larger. And I actually uh, broke this bead. I was going to use this bead also for the flower marini, but I broke it because it got too cold. And so I had to actually make a new bead. So I have a little bit of a cut coming up soon. But there's a zoom in of the larger star. So for this one, I'm going to do the flower marini. And this is the bead I broke right here. So it's going to have a cut soon. But what you want to do for the cane, and I'm going to leave this in cane form. But what you want to do for the flowers is you want to pull out and taper all the petals to come down to a point at the bottom of your marini. So this is what's going to be shoved into the bead. And so I'm going to taper it down so all the petals go to a point at the center. And so here's the cut. There it is. <laughs> so I have my tapered marini cane and I have a new bead because the other one cracked. And I'm going to be plunging this right into the bead. So I heat the bead, plunge that cane into it. And you want to get, get all that tapered section plunged in. So that's about how far you want to plunge it. And I just cut it off where I want it. And it was a little too high. So I'm going to cut a little bit more off so it's not so high up. And then I'm going to tap it down a little so it's even. And then I'll add clear to this one too. And when you add clear to the flower marini, it makes the petals 
flare out at the top. And so that's basically what, what you want for a flower. And then the, you know, in the background, because you tapered them down in the back, they'll all go to a point inside your bead. And so that's how you form the little flowers. And this is a very simple uh, flower marini with just one row of petals. You can have multiple rows of petals in your marini and they can look uh, pretty neat putting them in, a, in an encased bead. So I'm just slowly heating that clear and tapping it down gently, very gently, and spreading it out. And you can see the petals are starting to spread out there. So just helping it along a little bit, tapping it down, trying to even out the petals. If they start going crooked one way or another, you could try to push that clear to one side or the other to try to straighten out the petals if they're going crooked. But then you just melt it in and merge the clear in with the rest of the bead. And I'm holding it upright so it'll melt down around the bead and even it out. And here's going to be a close up. And so here's the little flower marini. And it's like losing its glow, so you'll get a better view. There we go. Not perfect, but it's in there. So that's how you apply flower marini. And that's it for now. Thanks for watching.